So you're lagging in Minecraft and you want to know how to fix it. Well in this video we're going to be going over exactly how to fix Minecraft lag and get the best experience possible when it comes to boosting FPS in Minecraft. Now first things first we will need to get Sodium. Sodium is a basically mod that allows you to boost performance in Minecraft. As you can see 25 FPS to over 300 and that's not uncommon. It's very very common to have huge FPS boosts like that with Sodium. I think we're actually going to be able to get one later in this video as well. In the description down below you will find this which is our complete guide on getting Sodium. It is a fabric mod loader mod so you'll need to get the fabric mod loader and get sodium installed these guides cover everything truthfully the sodium guides really all you need unless you have issues getting fabric and then we have that guide for you as well but this covers getting fabric and all of that so go check that out it's in the description down below and then once you've got sodium we can go ahead and get on to optimizing minecraft using it so here we are in the minecraft launcher we've got our sodium installation here yours may be called fabric or something different not called sodium i actually custom did this just for this video but once you're here what you want to do is click on the three dots here in the minecraft launcher before you click play and click on edit the reason we're doing this is we're going to give minecraft a little bit of a ram boost in order to get the most performance possible out of what our pc has to offer my pc has 64 gigs of ram which is more than enough for minecraft but as long as you have at least eight gigabytes of ram in your computer you can do what i'm doing here so as i said from the minecraft launcher click on installations find your sodium installation it might be called fabric click on three dots and click edit and then you want to click more options down here then scroll down to jvm arguments right here at the beginning we have xmx 2g that means that two gigabytes of ram is dedicated to minecraft i'm going to change this to xmx 4g meaning four gigabytes of ram is dedicated to minecraft that is plenty and as long as you have eight gigabytes of ram this is a quick little fix that you can do and you can even do this without sodium resolution is also something worth looking at here the lower your resolution the more performance you're going to get but i would recommend setting it to whatever you think looks the best and try to fix it with sodium and get optimizations in game before lowering your resolution but nonetheless let's go ahead and click save there and now we can play minecraft making sure we're playing with our sodium fabric installation so here we are on the Minecraft main menu, and before we actually optimize Minecraft using Sodium, first let's see what our FPS is to start this video off so we can compare to what it is after. We're going to be doing that on a Simple Game Hosting server, which happens to be our company and the sponsor of this video. Go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown that XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, or host a vanilla server. The choice is up to you, and if you have any issues along the way, there is expert live chat support and a high-quality help center to help you out. Out. So you go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start a Minecraft server the simple way. So here we are on our Simple Game Hosting server and if we go ahead and press F3 or Fn and F3 on our keyboard you can see the FPS in the top left. I would say we're averaging around 300 FPS or so which is really really good that is what a lot of people will end up getting after sodium optimizations but i have a pretty good pc so 300 fps isn't that bad i'm gonna go ahead and make a note of that you go ahead and post what your starting fps is in the description now let's go optimize it so we're going to disconnect and then we want to start from the minecraft main menu then from here go ahead and click on options and then video settings and immediately things look different and that's due to the fact that sodium is installed now what we want to do is set all of our stuff to be as low as possible in order to get the most performance as possible now with that being said you can come in here and change these and set things up how you want to set them up in order to get the most performance but generally make sure that you are turning stuff down as low as you can while still keeping things playable and enjoyable for you also it is recommended to uninstall any resource packs that you may have except fabric mods you've got to have that one in order to make sure that minecraft is as base as possible because typically resource packs do add lag to minecraft as well so you want to remove those for now you can always add them back if you're not lagging after this video nevertheless let's start off with render distance here i'm going to turn this down to 12 very very playable a lot of the times eight though is actually where you want to be if you're on a lower end pc i'll turn mine down to eight actually simulation distance turn that all the way down brightness luckily does not affect performance gui scale really doesn't affect performance as well full screen i'd recommend turning off v-sync turn off and make sure your frame rate is set to unlimited then for view bobbing, attack indicator, and auto save indicator, none of that matters because it doesn't affect performance. Make sure you click apply, and then we can go to the quality tab. For graphics, we want to set that to fast. We want to turn off clouds and set weather to fast as well. Then we want to go ahead and change our leaves to fast, and particles are going to be set to minimal. 
For smooth lighting, turn that off. Biome blend, turn it all the way down. Entity distance, turn that all the way down as well. And turn off entity shadows and vignette. Last but not least, map levels need to be turned to zero and click apply. Once that's done reloading, we can move on to the performance section. And this is where you're really going to get the biggest boost out of Sodium and Minecraft. Every single one of these needs to be turned on. Every single one of them. And it's going to be a huge performance boost when you do it. So much so that you might be able to go back and change quality or general settings and increase them some because performance is that big of a deal. You can also turn chunk updates up to one or two, maybe even three, depending on how many cores your CPU has. But it is going to lower your FPS some, but it's going to road your world a lot faster. So it's kind of up to you. Do you want fast chunk loading or more FPS? If you're watching this, you probably want more FPS. So setting it to zero is probably going to be the play. Click apply and you're done. It's that easy to set things up. Now it does say you may need to restart your game for one or more video settings to apply. So let's go ahead and do that after we look at the advanced tab. Now the thing about the advanced tab here is that we want to make sure that use persistent mapping is turned on. And then we want to make sure that CPU is using a little bit of CPU here. Basically you can go ahead and turn this up a little bit. If you go very, very high, you might have issues. If you go very, very low, you might have issues. So somewhere in the middle, three, four, five is where I would want to be. This might be different for you depending on, you know, your CPU and stuff. So set it towards the middle of the slider. Click apply if you need to. Click done. And we will need to restart Minecraft. So let's go ahead and do that. And thanks to Movie Magic, Minecraft is now restarted. And we can jump onto our simple game hosting server where we can easily see exactly what our FPS is now. So the higher the FPS, the better. And remember before, we were at three hundred which is really really good and a good goal to set for yourself honestly but now we are at 400 and climbing actually not getting as much of a boost here as i was hoping i was a little afraid of that and, and the thing is once your computer is a decent computer you can't really stretch more fps out of it the real benefit here would be if i installed shaders or something like that that's going to lower my fps there we go we're now getting over 600 fps we're getting some more fps 700 fps i was really hoping we could get over a thousand that's always fun when that happens but the thing about Sodium is it's not trying to get you a ton of FPS over, let's say, 300 in a lot of ways. It's just trying to give you the best experience possible. And honestly, my computer is good enough to where I could run max settings, everything, and still sit at like 300 FPS. Even with shaders, 100 to 200 FPS is easy to accomplish. And truthfully, you don't need more than 100 FPS in Minecraft. And there we go. We're up to 900 now. Maybe we can push 1,000 if we're lucky. I just I love seeing 1,000 FPS. It's always fun when that happens. But nonetheless, there you have it. That's how you can get more FPS in Minecraft. What was your FPS before? And what was it after? Did it increase as much as mine did where I went from 300 to where sometimes I can hit up to 700, 800 or 1000? Or is it lower? You know, maybe it's lower. That would be very, very interesting if it was. But is it playable? And that's, I guess, the real question. Let us know in the comment section down below if you have any questions. And we will see you in the next video. Be sure to check out Simple Game Hosting. Oh, there it is, 1000 FPS. We saw it for a second. I'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.